Hey guys, welcome back to another round of War Robots with Stupendous. So, actually coming at you from the work truck again. Actually, it's my boss's work truck. So, we were, uh, we just ran and grabbed lunch, you know, since it's like 4 o'clock. It's kind of a typical day. Um, and, uh, yeah, we're heading back. We had to grab a couple of things for some electrical work we were doing in that bathroom I was telling you about in yesterday's video. And he's like, dude, I gotta go to the bathroom. So, he ran into his house to um to uh to go to the bathroom and i figured i'd have a couple minutes so why not see if we can uh, get a round in it's funny actually yesterday i i um i played two rounds in a row after the first one my boss or during the first one my my boss called me and so in the middle of that recording i ended up <laughs> i ended up having to check out for like for like two minutes while i was talking to him on the phone dang it i was hoping i could get this beacon <laughs> that was so close and i could have respawned there right there with my high chi Oh well. <laughs> just to see me just get stuck between these two barns. Oh, that was funny. Anyway, so that's what I'm doing right now. Thus, uh, thus the mic quality being maybe a little tinny or different. When I listened back to um, to yesterday's recording, or I guess the one that you guys are seeing today, I yeah, I was like, I was like, yeah, this is like the mic quality is not terrible for being a phone. Um, so the the app that I've used uh, in the past before I got the blue snowball mic that i've been using uh, recently i was just using an app called super voice recorder on android and you can you can up the voice quality on it so that it's actually recording and i think the highest it'll go is like 192,000 bits which is uh or kbps which is pretty sweet for uh for voice recording so that's why i chose that one is because it had um settings that you could tweak so that it was that high and since i was just recording on mobile and the one plus 3t has a pretty good um, has pretty good audio software and and everything to, to make it work. I figured, you know, why not try to max it out back when I was just using my phone. But anyway, hey, check it out. This guy had the same idea. Or is he running Molots? No, I think he's running Punishers too. I think we're both running a Tempest and, and Punishers. <laughs> so it looks like we made it through his shields though, so we should be pretty good there. Nice. Um, let's see what that is. Oh, we did not want to see what that is. <laughs> I should have just corner peeked. That was stupid. Oh, good times, Stubert. I guess let's spawn over here and see what's going on. I think we'll be able to approach center a little bit easier from here. We can we can put on the pressure and, I don't know, with how it's looking over here, we really don't need the center beacon. I, I was pushing towards it because I wasn't sure how long we'd be able to hold this, but they're pretty much focusing just on those two beacons over there. So, really... I don't really need to take center. It would just be nice, especially because once I take it, I mean, then like if once they're over to our side beacon, that's pretty far. I should have been paying attention. I was totally looking over at our side beacon, just kind of spraying bullets over there. Let's move in here and see if we can we can light this guy up a little bit. Oh, he's behind that silo. Maybe give him a little bit of love while he's flying. Oh, that did hit him a little bit. That actually hit him more than I thought it would. Nice combined pressure. That guy melted. Okay, so he's jumping up. This will be a good opportunity to move in and hit him once he hits the ground. Man, except the lag. Man, the, the lag's been bad. I mean, all of you guys have said that, too, like, since the update. You're like, don't worry, Stu. We've all got lag. Don't worry. <laughs> and, uh, but, yeah, it's even it's even worse when I'm on LTE in the, in the areas that I'm working in because it's usually, like, kind of in the country and stuff like that, like, out in the middle of nowhere. Well, not, not really the middle of nowhere, but... Not like established cities and stuff where you would expect better data connections and everything. So, anyway, yeah, best tactic I could probably offer for any of the dash bots is to use, uh, like, they, they have the huge advantage of agility. So if you're not using that to either take shots or avoid shots, you're doing something wrong. Uh, so if you do have one and you're struggling to use it, make sure that you give yourself clear escape routes all the time. Use cover all the time. Um, because yeah, you're fast and yeah, you probably you have pretty good firepower too. I'm trying to figure out who to shoot at here. Hoping we can drop this guy's shield and then hopefully with a teammate or something. Man, that gecko Patton, he's been so annoying, <laughs> which means he's doing a great job. <laughs> Truly though, that's a, it's, it's an effective setup. It didn't used to be, it used to be kind of a joke in, in higher level play, but yeah, it's definitely a, definitely an effective setup. Ooh, he's got magnums. So let's, uh, let's move out of the way. But anyway, oh, I think I might have just been covering the microphone. Dang it. 
uh, I'm just trying not to do that. Like, I'm trying to, like, tap the screen, like, lightly when I'm moving around and stuff like that. Because I'm usually, like, hammering the screen. And you used to be able to hear that in some of my older videos and stuff. And I was always super self-conscious about it. But I think I might have just been covering it. I'll have to go back and check the audio after this round. Hopefully it's not too jacked up. It's been a pretty good round so far. And uh, someone had asked, it was, I mean, it was probably, like, a month probably a month ago, um, but with updates and stuff like that, like, I, like I've told you guys before with, um, when we're, when I'm taking subscriber requests, things that take priority before subscriber requests are like recent updates and new, new bots, maps, features, other, that kind of stuff takes priority. So that's, that's why there's a big backlog of, <laughs> of requests from you guys, but someone had requested it like a month and a half ago. And so I put the, the Lancelot with the Tempest and Punishers in, which is, one of my favorite Punisher, or not Punisher, um, one of my favorite Tempest setups is running it on a lance with uh, with the Tempest and the Punishers. I wish we could have done a little bit more with it this round. I mean, it's not like, you know, the I ideal circumstances and stuff like that. Like, But, yeah, we, we definitely could have played that a bit better. And you guys can go back. Like, if you're interested in seeing more of that gameplay, just search Stupendous. Lancelot, Tempest, Punisher, and you'll find it. There should be a couple videos that come up. I think I ran a couple. What am I running? Oh, it's those shipping containers. I'm trying to back off behind this light post so I can shoot around it at these guys. Just kind of give me a little bit of a physical shield, but I was running into those shipping containers. I was trying to walk backwards, and I, I didn't know what I was running into. Looks like they're over there taking our side beacon, so hopefully we can clear these guys off of center real quick. We have enough of us finally moving into center that we should be able to take it. So our side beacon going, um, beacon E up there that's changing right now, uh, shouldn't be too much of an issue, especially with, oh, I was going to say with two lances moving in, but not so much on the two lances. So I switched targets there. It, it was important to get that Griffin off because he still had three weapons, so he's dealing pretty pretty massive damage. It was impor important to get him out of here because that, that lance is going to take a minute anyway. Oh, crap, crap. Crap, this is my last bot. This is my last bot. Don't kill me. Hopefully I've got backup coming. Oh, there is. <laughs> I didn't even see that. My teammate over there. I didn't see him walking up onto the ramp. Luckily he was able to finish him. So I was the author and he was the finisher. Yeah, I think this I think this worked out. My boss hasn't uh, hasn't come back out yet. So uh, this might be this will probably be a good pretty good one to post. That actually hasn't been too too laggy. Like last one, it was definitely more framey and everything, but this one really hasn't been too bad. Only got these two weapons left, and really it'd only take like one Tehran, like one second to take me out. So I do need to be careful uh, what I do here. As long as they're focusing somebody else, I, sh I should be fine to to help finish somebody off. Okay, so he's jumping away. This guy, he's probably going to be focusing the guy in center. Okay, yeah, so we'll be able to shoot him into his side a little bit here. But uh, yeah, now he's behind cover. Oh, well. Oh, it looks like the round's about over. Nope, the round is over. <laughs> anyway, I think that was a pretty good good one, and we got that subscriber request in there finally. Um, but yeah, people keep requesting Dash with Orkins, like even though that's what I've been running, so I'll just leave them in for a couple of rounds. But anyway, thanks for... Hey, not too bad. Thanks so much for coming and checking out the video, guys. Um, yeah, if you like, to smash the thumbs up button, and I hope you have an amazing day.